Okay, so this is my first handgun review. I have the CZ P10C polymer lower. You see, that's about 300 rounds through it now. And you can see some of the the lighter coating black is wearing off uh, I believe that's sort of a shipping coating and the real hardened materials the shiny stuff you see underneath and the more that's wearing the, the more it's worn uh, the smoother the guns getting so that's about like I say about 300 rounds through there and there's don't believe there's any noticeable wear that would be significant I have uh, let's see look down the barrel she looks pretty good again I've done nothing to it haven't cleaned it or anything so uh, again a little bit of wear on the rounds pickup a little bit on the But like I say, 300 rounds and no significant wear. It comes with mag extensions, which is kind of funny for a Canadian gun. We're already limited to 10 rounds and they give you a two round mag extension. Some places that might be beneficial. But two mags, two grips, uh, three grip sizes. I have the medium on there now. Uh, like I say, it's my first handgun. I have nothing to really compare it to. Uh, I fired uh, 357 Magnum, uh, 45 Auto, uh, 15 years ago or more, under 100 rounds. So I have no real benchmark for any of this review. Uh, they were both uh, quality guns, handguns at the time. Um, I thank Bob for that. He taught me a few good lessons, which I remembered. Um, like I say, the gun's really smooth. I I I fought, shot a Beretta. I mentioned it net later on in the video. Um, so far, like I say, I have nothing compared to, but there's been no malfunctions at all. Everything has run smoothly. Um, the only again malfunction is my eyes, learning to shoot because you got to see that front sight, right? So I tried it with my bifocals, my driving glasses, they did not work. And I went to my reading glasses and I started finding success there. So I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to look into getting some uh, of the top bifocal glasses. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little gun. And uh, I'll just get right to some footage. Quick assembly. Comes apart real quick and easy too. Oh, there you go. The gun also came with a uh, shooting test, three rounds, point of aim impact, mean. So that's all right. Uh, couple manuals, a uh, cleaning rod, and a brush. I'm not sure where I put the brush now. But, um, and the case, which is kind of too small for the locks, <laughs> but it works. Um, and on to the footage. Today we'll be shooting some PPU, Full Metal Jacket Bullet, 
115 grain and some Winchester US forged steel case 50 of them as well Okay, this should look okay. I'm gonna try aiming with my bifocals and see if I can see that front sight So we're going to try this out with my reading glasses on. I can't see the target now, but I should be able to see that front sight. Oh, yeah. I think I'm liking it better already. I am definitely thinking about getting those bifocals that are on the top. I'm thinking most of those 10 are all in that target zone. So, with my reading glasses on, where I can see my front sight, bang, 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 bang. I'm definitely gonna have to invest in some of those uh, fancy dancy uh, shooting glasses with the bifocal in the top. Or else this is sort of a losing venture. All right, we're gonna try this from 25 yards, I think it is. See if I can hit the paper with with the reading glasses, the new mod. Well, as far as, still can't reach it around, pretty easy, if I'm in the firing position, it's just my thumb isn't quite big enough, but my first handgun, uh, I picked a CZ-10C, pretty happy with it. Should be able to with the light on this side see the rain. As you saw, it was safe. Um, as far as the gun itself goes, I'm pretty happy with it. I have nothing really to compare it to. Today I shot a Beretta uh, with a compensator on it. It was kind of nice, a little front heavy. Didn't like the feel as much as this. There was a Glock. But I didn't get to try it. But anyway, like I say, it's my first handgun that I've owned. I've shot before a 45 and 357 Magnum. But uh, like I say, my biggest problem again is my eyes. They were playing havoc with me. But once I put my reading glasses on and was able to see, was able to see both my sights, game became a little bit better, a lot better. Well, not see both, but actually be able to tell which one I was aiming with instead of which which of the two because there's you know double action <laughs> anyway thanks for watching all right let's see if I can get some double tap action going here not be too much of a goomba
And that's the rounds for the today. So as you see, she's emptied, fully cocked, and move this a bit so I'm not shaming down range to show you this, but pretty easy closing on her there. With the mag in, hard as get all out. Take that mag out, boom, she drops. But, when you have a round in there, it drops easy again too. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Had some fun, let's go see what my madman shoot did as always. Quick run up. Hard leaving to run 10 steps. So, at least I'm getting a little consistency here again. I'm hitting the paper. It's low again, low, low, low. But like I say, the biggest difference is once I put on my reading glasses, I could see my sight, my front sight. And as you all been know, your, your target doesn't matter. It can be blurry, it should be blurry, right? Because you're focusing on front sight. And as soon as I was able to see that, it changed all kinds of stuff. Accuracy from there. And like I say, I'm shooting from 25 yards and I'm hitting them. So I'm a little happy with the progress. My uh, few range safety issues I saw myself do with muzzle control. But those are some things that uh, can be worked on. It's just like your first day out, so what else are you gonna do, right? Little memory stuff. But, I guess it. Thanks for watching. As always, play safe, have fun with guns.